There's Jeff and Wilma at Budrum. I want to show you this jam I just made. Pineapple and papaya jam. And I'll show you how we made this. I'm just cutting up this pineapple nice and small in you know, little dices here. This is what I harvested yesterday. I'm just doing much the same thing with this pawpaw here. This is just ripened up nicely for us. It's one of our first pawpaws to ripen. Now in this saucepan here, I'm going to put one and a half cups of my finely chopped pawpaw. I'm also going to put in one and a half cups of this finely chopped pineapple. That's about half a cup of water. The juice and the zest of one lemon, so it's a bit of a rough guess that. Might be a little bit more than one lemon. About two tablespoons of my finely grated crystallised ginger. So what I'm going to do now is just turn the heat on and bring this to a simmer and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. Well this has been simmering for about 15 minutes I'd say. So what I'm going to do now is I've got two cups of raw sugar. Just going to add that to it and then stir that through. Bring this back to the boil and let it sort of boil for about a half an hour. Even though this has been boiling for half an hour I still don't think it's ready. So I'm going to give it another 20 minutes. This is looking good. This is another 20 minutes has gone by. I still don't feel it would pass the frozen saucer test. What I have here is a half a packet of jam setter. So I'm just going to add this to the jam, bring it to a, a fairly hard boil and let it boil for about five minutes. Just give it a, a bit of a stir while it's boiling. In that five minutes. Yep, I think he's right. I'll turn the heat right off. And now I think it will pass the saucer test. Have a look at that. Looking beautiful. What I'm just going to do is put some on this frozen saucer. See what happens. Got a beautiful look about it, isn't it? Pretty colour. Yeah, I think that's going to be alright. Look, it's perfect. It's Very good. So our jam cooled down here. Just going to try some of my artisan bread. Yeah, it's turning like a sort of a jelly. So I'll have a little taste of this. Oh, that's beautiful. Really rich in flavour. I think it might be the lemon I put in and everything else. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you later. Bye.